Hello everyone, my name is Kaylee Gonzalez here with MLC CAT Systems and I'm going to cover five ways that we can utilize SOLIDWORKS inspection. And the first way is utilizing native SOLIDWORKS drawings files. When we go into SOLIDWORKS we see that our inspection add-in is already loaded and we can start by choosing our templates and creating an inspection report. Because we're working inside of SOLIDWORKS, we can immediately start utilizing existing custom properties from the model. We're simply bringing these into the selected cells to be exported for our first article inspection report. Once we've chosen our characteristic information and our sampling, we're ready to let the system balloon our drawing for us. Once the ballooning has been completed, we could then go and make any changes that we need. If we have a different revision of this drawing, whether we remove specific information or dimensions or add them back in, we can simply go through and make those changes. Once everything is completed, we can update our inspection project. Once the project has been rebalooned and been updated, we're going to see some color coding in our characteristic tree on items that have been deleted or added, and we can simply accept those changes. One more time, we'll let the system go through, balloon the drawing, and all of our additional information has already been included. From here, we're ready to export directly to Excel, and we'll see an example of a first article inspection report from one of the default templates that SOLIDWORKS inspection comes with. So this is the first way we can utilize SOLIDWORKS inspection. The second is utilizing SOLIDWORKS parts with 3D PMI. As you can see, our model already has 3D PMI set up in it through Dimension Expert. We can start creating inspection projects using the exact same add-in that we saw previously. We can choose what we want to balloon and let the system go through and balloon all of the 3D PMI in this particular file. All this information is going to come in very accurately and cleanly ready for that first article inspection report. We still have that full capability to export this directly to Excel. This can save a massive amount of time as we've eliminated the entire necessity of having a 2D drawing. The third is utilizing legacy files. In this case, we're going to take a look at a PDF file. We're going to be looking at the standalone inspection product in this next section. When we start working with the standalone product, we're going to make use of some different types of technology. The first type is optical character recognition. This is going to automatically pull in a lot of our information, our nominal values, our default tolerancing, and start populating our characteristic tree. The OCR can understand certain types of symbols, such as the radius diameter symbols, and all of this information is going to start populating in the characteristic tree underneath. We can also compensate for angles as well, and even when we have dimensions with multiple instances of the same item. And we can easily create additional line items in our characteristic tree to be exported to Excel. Now we're not limited to just dimensions when working with PDFs. We can also grab notes. If you do have a PDF that has searchable text, you can make use of the Smart Extract feature. The Smart Extract feature is a different type of technology, but it really is extremely beneficial for notes as it can grab multiple lines with ease and accuracy. Once our notes have been added, we can take a look at the characteristic tree and even start reordering it if we want the notes to be at the beginning. This is going to determine the order that this gets exported. Even when we change the tree, all the balloon numbers are going to be updated. We can continue with some of our dimensions. We saw some different tolerancing as well. And we can compensate for whole callouts. We're going to do this in a couple of steps. We did the dimension first, then the rest of the text, and then our GDNT at the bottom. Now we can make use of the GDNT datum reference frame builder to make sure that this is going to be populated accurately inside of our characteristic tree and therefore inside of Excel. Once completed, we can export this to create our first article inspection report. The fourth way we can utilize SOLIDWORKS inspection is with DWGs and DXF files. Still working inside of the standalone product, I'm going to take a look at a DWG file. 
Now when we work with this file type in inspection, we are going to use the Smart Extract, where we can grab individual instances of dimensions or grab items in bulk. This is a huge time savings in creating a lot of this ballooning and populating these characteristics. Once we've ballooned everything, we can go through and make use of some of the robust editing tools that inspection has to simplify our first article inspection report, get rid of some unnecessary items, and even start expanding some additional options. Make sure that we have all the correct instance counts for all of the dimensions. Again, it's a pretty simple process to go through, do some very quick editing, and preparing this for that first article inspection. Once completed, we're ready to export again into Excel. The nice thing about utilizing DWG files, as you saw, is that we don't need to use the Datum Reference Frame Builder. All of that information is going to be pulled in automatically. This last item is 3D PRT files with 3D PMI. Now it is important to understand that the 3D PMI must already be included in the file type. Inspection does not give you the option to add dimensions, only to balloon them. So this information must be in the file to utilize this. But we can make use of our Smart Extract tool once again. We can grab individual items or grab all of the dimensions at once. Again, we can make use of the characteristic tree to go through and make any of our minor changes or edits. Once our edits are done, maybe we have another revision that we want to bring in. SOLIDWORKS Inspection allows us to do this and we have an automated revision tool to help us with any changes. We're going to see color coding in green, orange, and red for items that were added, changed, or deleted. From here we can analyze the changes and accept them. And just like that, all of our revisioned items have now been updated, our characteristic trees updated, so when we go to export all this information to Excel, we can guarantee that this information is going to be accurate. So we took a look at five main ways that we can utilize SOLIDWORKS inspection using native SOLIDWORKS drawings, SOLIDWORKS parts with 3D PMI, legacy files, PDFs, TIFFs, DWGs, DXF files, and then 3D PRT files with 3D PMI. If you have any additional questions about what you saw in this video, please reach out to your local MLC CAD sales representative. We'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks and have a great day.